Barcelona, the capital of Catalonia, is one of the most popular cities in Spain. Founded as a Roman city, it flowered in the late Middle Ages and blossomed in the late mid-19th century. Many exciting elements of modern periods are, of course, also evident in this northeastern Spanish city. Situated on the coast of Spain, Barcelona has the perfect location. A splendid view onto the blue Mediterranean Sea will surely convince you of its natural beauty. The Monastere Patraubas, which is named for its whitest stones, is an excellent example of the Catalan Gothic era in Barcelona. The monastery was founded in 1326 by Queen Elisenda, and ever since it has been administrated by the nuns of the Order of Saint Clare. Elisenda also built a palace annexed to the monastery, where she lived after her husband's death in 1327. She died there 40 years later. The remains of the palace were discovered in the 1970s. Due to the fact that construction of the monastery took only a year, it was not influenced by any other architectural style and is a fine example of homogeneous Gothic architecture. The monastery was originally defended by a line of walls and currently only two towers and one gate remain. Today, the monastery serves as a museum, with most of it being open to the public. which is situated on the hill of the El Carmel in the Garcia district, is one of the world's most intriguing parks. It began as a development project. A well-known Catalan industrialist wanted to turn the area into a residential garden village based on English models. In 1900, Antoni Gaudi was commissioned with the development of the project. The work on the garden village lasted until 1914. It then became clear that the project was a commercial failure and none of the homes were sold. Therefore, in 1918, the city acquired the property and in 1922 it was opened to the public as a park. Another famous feature of the park is the Grand Plaza Circular, 
originally intended as a marketplace for the residents, this plaza is surrounded by what is known as the largest bench in the world. The colorful ceramic twisting bench designed by Jujol curves like a giant snake around the plaza. The view from the plaza is spectacular and one is able to see as far as the Mediterranean Sea. Gaudi integrated many motifs of Catalan nationalism and elements from religious mysticism and ancient poetry into the park. Plaza de España is one of Barcelona's biggest and most important squares. It is situated at the foot of the Montjuic. The square was built in a site that had been previously used for public hangings until the gallows were moved to the Citadela in 1715. It was designed in 1915 by the architect Joseph Amaragos and was only completed in 1929 in order to host the 1929 Universal Exposition. The great fountain at the center of the square was designed by the architect Joseph Maria Jujol. His modernist style was clearly influenced by Gaudi, his collaborator. The statues adorning the fountain were created by the Spanish sculptor Miguel Fabregas. Wide Avenue, the Avenua de la Reina Maria Cristina, is bordered by two towers and leads to the Magic Fountain and the Palau Nacional at the Munjuic. Plaza de España is also a major transport center that serves most parts of the metropolitan area of Barcelona. Barcelona has increased in popularity since the early 1990s, when preparations for the 1992 Olympic Games were launched. Many structures were restored and new impressive buildings and landmarks created. When the Games ended, Barcelona was left with an entirely new harbour development that includes the new Olympic Village. In addition, many existing buildings had facelifts during this economic transformation. The Sagrada Familia, Antony Gaudi's unfinished masterpiece, is one of Barcelona's most popular tourist attractions. The church is situated in the center of Barcelona and tells of the life of Jesus and the story of Christianity. Over the years, it has become a universal sign of identity of the city and country. 
The idea for the construction of a new church was launched by the devout organization, whose goal was to bring an end to the dechristianization of the citizens of Barcelona, which started with the industrialization and increasing wealth of the city. Work on the church began in 1882 by the architect Francisco de Paula del Vila. A year later, Gaudi was commissioned to continue, a task which he did not abandon until his death in 1926. Since then, different architects have proceeded with the work based on his original idea. Construction of the church will continue for several more decades, and when it is complete, it will be able to accommodate 13,000 people and will have a total of 18 towers. the Manjuic cable car offers you a breathtaking view of the skyline of Barcelona and the surrounding area of Manjuic. This is by far one of the most entertaining transport methods in Barcelona. You will be able to enjoy one of the city's most impressive green areas which spreads up to the castle on top of the hill. The base station is in Parc de Montjuic. A halfway stop provides access to the Mirador viewpoint, known as the Mirador del Alcalde, an attractive landscape terrace which boasts harbor views. be able to find the Manjuic Castle, an old military fortress with a long history closely linked to the city. The castle is situated on a rocky terrace more than 170 meters above sea level. In addition to all her charms, Barcelona is also an excellent place for shopping. There is a 5-kilometer-long shopping street that is packed with stores and is exclusive for pedestrians. The markets in Barcelona are equally impressive, particularly the food markets. There is a vibrant street cafe life, and in the evenings, many people sit outside watching the world go by. <laughs> 